Lightforge Blessing may be okay. Um, Alder Bless, or Alder Peacekeeper, I think is going to be really good, uh, especially against all these untargetable dragons that Hunter is probably going to be playing. <laughs> Racist Paladin, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Racist Paladin. <laughs> you made a Golden Hunter Rage Quit with Magtheridon? <laughs> Wait, so if I have all the commons, uncommon and rares, do I just get golden versions? No, you'll still get triplicates. Oh, yeah. You'll still get the you'll still get the cards. Um You'll get all the triplicates. It won't be golden, it'll just be uh triplicates that you can dust since they're extra. Yeah, let's hear a power, I guess. But right now, uh it might give you like 10 of a common card before you have uh, one of another common card. So now it will not give you a triplicate of any card until you have duplicates of every single common. Yeah, that needs to die. Okay, so it looks like it is a freezing trap probably. So there's there's a lot of changes going on. So definitely ask questions if you're if you don't know what's going on. Okay, um, probably Alder Truth Seeker. I could also Alder Peacekeeper and then buff it up. Um, do I care about drawing a card? Hmm. I think I want to put this guy down. I don't necessarily care about drawing a card too much. Oh, that's kind of a cool animation. He comes in in like a little bubble. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Blizzard making changes because everyone is playing Battlegrounds. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Or maybe because they have more competition because of this Legends of Runeterra game that came out from League of Legends. Uh, but the new pack thing is cool, Sam Hobbs. Only missing five epics. Dude, that's awesome. I know before you'd have like 10 epics and like zero of everything else. <laughs> I, I think that this change helps the epics more so than anything. Because um, epics were very, very hard to get and they costed quite a bit of dust. And a lot of the times, like, epics were uh, were pretty important cards to certain archetypes in general. So I'm glad that they made this. <laughs> we know it's not snakes. So I'm going to put this guy down first. Alexstrasza could maybe save me if I last three more turns. Am I going to last three more turns? I guess I have to kind of try. Man, I, I, I missed Flash of Light already. <laughs> but I guess I, I want to put down this Lifesteal guy first, because um, if he Rot Nests, I'd rather him kill the Lifesteal than the Taunt. Because Taunt I can actually take advantage of right away because he has to kind of punch through it on his next turn. But I have to wait a whole turn to attack with Lifesteal. So I want to try and get the life steal going online first, and then kind of throw it on the taunt as the oh shit button. If he kills this, rather than the other way around. If he doesn't kill this dude though, oh, I'm gonna punish him so hard. Ooh. I'm gonna punish him so hard. Um, probably Amber Watcher. Oh yeah, starting to draw my Librams, guys. Let's go, <laughs> let's go. I also have my Elder True Seeker making this Libram zero. Hey yo. All right, there's the rot nest. There it is. I knew it was coming down eventually. 
Hopefully he doesn't have another rot nest. Actually, even if he does, I have a lot of minions on the field, so I'm fine with that. I'm gonna throw the book at you. <laughs> hey yo! <laughs> Alright, how does he get through this? If he tries to rot nest it, it's a one in four chance. I'm just gonna punch through it and give me all that health. Hey yo, I'll take it. So in order for this Dragon Queen to be active, we need to get rid of our Libram of Hope and Consecration and Aldor Attendant. So I mean, we actually are getting kind of close to getting this Dragon Queen active. Oh no, isn't that a good thing? Don't you want the Warrior Prime? I think the Warrior Prime is pretty solid, especially like in a, in a Highlander deck. Ooh, Libram of Hope, okay. I like that, I like that. <laughs> uh, what if he has another Rot Nest? Hmm. I guess I don't need the lifesteal on him. Let's put down another minion in case he has a rot nest. Now all of a sudden he has a 50-50 of killing the 1-1. One, one. <laughs> this paladin deck is actually so fun. <laughs> it's actually really fun. All right, does he have the rot nest? Does he have the rot nest? I just wasn't expecting a legendary from just three packs. Yeah. Well, you're guaranteed a legendary in your first 10. So, in your first 10, you are guaranteed one. I think I pissed off the paladin I was playing against. Really? Why? <laughs> What'd you do? Impurity will not be tolerated. If your hero attacks, add a random Murloc to your hand. Oh, dude. Okay. <laughs> sure. Um, this will probably be snakes. We've seen one freezing. We've seen the snakes. I still don't want to attack because this still might be freezing. Okay. And my hand is full now. Thanks, thanks to the Crusader. Yeah, Fist and Eye of the Storm is dirty, yeah. If you can get to that combo, if you can get to there, it is for sure dirty. I don't know, the Librum Pure Paladin is pretty dirty too. <laughs> oh shoot, I forgot about this Librum of uh, Wisdom. So now we're gonna mill ourselves. Oops. He's probably gonna trade, so he leaves my 7-7 on board. So that way, yep, it's good against Freezing Trap. Yep, yep, yep. So we know for sure that this is Freezing Trap. We know that for sure. I guess attack into this for the life steal. Um, do I want to attack with anything here? Like my weapon? Yeah, I don't I don't see a reason to attack here. Got Colossus? Dude. Dude. If you can get Colossus from Fist or like a King Feoris play, oh man. It feels so good. Just get a free 10 minute 10 10 Divine Shield Reborn. <laughs> The value. Trump would be proud of those plays. I played Zephyrus, got Shadow Madness, stole the dragon. 
When it dies, you get two four fours. Yeah, what is it? Bronze, bronze keeper or something like that. Then kill them with the dragons. <laughs> yeah, I'd be pretty triggered too, Zenith. <laughs> oh man, that poor paladin. Good play though. You know, playing the Zephyrus with the Shadow Madness, so good heads up on that. Can I get another taunt here? I guess Lay on Hands could, uh... Ooh. Hey, there's the Consecration. Cool, so next turn we can go Libram of Justice into Consecration. Cool, cool, cool. You just have to survive for next turn. <laughs> That's the key. So I think we have to kill the Dragon Bane. Okay, so how much damage does he have? He has, what, five? 10, 12 damage? Okay, so he needs to do 9 damage with one card. Okay, so I think we're good. I think we're good. I got a spicy new quest, Mally Druid, for you to look at if you haven't made one yourself. I have. I have made one myself. <laughs> yeah, so I still look at this one, though. Without Leroy, I don't think we're ever dead here, right? I don't want to play into like Rat Trap or anything, so I think I'll just Hero Power. All right, so he needs to do five damage here. He's already used one Corrosive Breath. I don't think he wins. Unless he has like a Scale Rider plus Corrosive Breath. But no, he'd still need a Dragon in hand. No, I think we win. All right, so there's a Scale Rider. He doesn't have a Dragon. Oh yeah, we got him. We got him for sure. But yeah, all right. So let's take a look at this uh, deck list of yours, Luke Daddy. Or you know this. <laughs> um, let's see here. So Hammer of Wrath. And Light Forge Zealot should be lethal. Got him! Man, this deck is actually so good! Pure Libram Paladin. Huh. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? 